Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Elias Sarantopoulos. This time around, I will teach you how to prototype an app inside Adobe XD, working with repeat grids, connecting artboards, setting up component states for the photo gallery, and how to animate a push menu. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So inside Adobe XD with a file open, let's go ahead and start this off. In this case, I'm using my personal portfolio app design as an example, a file that I'm sharing with you inside the exercise folder in the event that you want to follow along with me. Okay, so the plan here is to create a bunch of image thumbnails for each category. I'm talking about the recent photos category, the video tutorials category, or by location. And we are going to accomplish that by repeating those elements to the right of the screen. So I'm going to click on the first box here, these box photos, and I'm going to go up to the properties inspector, and I'm going to use the repeat grid function. So I'm going to click on that. And as I do notice that the rectangle has a green highlight with two control handles one to the right hand side and one at the bottom. Now these handles allows us to repeat the contents either off in a horizontal direction or a vertical direction. In this case, I'm going to click and drag this horizontally to create two more of these boxes, like so. Now, one more thing I would like to uh, point out is that if you hover over inside your grid, you're going to notice those pink areas. These indicate the amount of space between the repeating elements. In other words, the padding between. So you can just drag this to the right or the left to increase or decrease the space in between. So I'm going to undo this, Control Z or Command Z to undo. And now all we have to do is place images on top on the of the repeat grid boxes and that will populate the images automatically. So I'm going to do this by selecting those three photos. I'm going to click and drag this on top of the grid boxes like so. So basically the user will swipe to the left till you get to the second thumbnail photo and swipe to the left again till it goes to the third thumbnail photo. So for that, we need to create two more of these artboards. So I'm going to click on this artboard name and we're going to duplicate this. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, which is Alt Shift or Option Shift. There we go. I'm going to double click to rename this to Feed 2. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate this one more time. Again, Alt Shift, Option Shift, like so. Double click to rename this to Feed 3. All right. So we have those identical artboards. Of course, now on the second one, we need to move that photo and we're going to have the second photo come into place and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the help of my grid. So I'm going to click on the artboard name. Then I'm going to toggle on the visibility of the grid. There we go. Because I want to make sure that I align things up. So I'm going to click and drag this to the left here. There we go. Here's the first one. I'm going to jump to the third feed. And I'm going to click and drag. I'm holding the shift key as I do. And move this into place like so. All right. Great. All right. I don't need my grid anymore. So I'm just going to toggle off its visibility. All right. There you go. So next step is basically to wire this up between those screens. So for that, I'm going to jump into the prototype mode here. And we're going to start first with this photo. So the user, as I mentioned before, we swipe to the left and the user is swiping to actually to the image thumbnail. OK, so for that, I need to basically go into this image. So I'm going to double click on that here. I'm inside this photo. You're going to get this blue circle here. So now we can just click on that to wire this up. So the trigger here is, for example, tap 
or drag or so on. In this case, I want the user to drag, not tap, just drag. For the action, the type will be auto animate. Of course, you can change those to your liking. The destination will be, well, we're going to the next feed, which is the feed two. Great. Now, I want to do the same thing for the second image thumbnail. So again, I'm going to click on this blue circle. Adobe XTB remembers what I did last, but for destination, I'm going to go ahead and choose again the feed two. Now you want to make sure you click on the second artboard. Double click to get to this photo here. Let's go ahead and wire this up. Trigger drag, type auto animate, destination, the last artboard. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to wire this up to the, again, the third artboard. Great. Now, how about the very last artboard? I'm going to double click and I want this one to go all the way to the very beginning, like so. You can do this actually interactively. And you can double check your work here. And as you can see, the destination is feed. Great. But we're not done yet. I'm going to click on this feed too. And I want this one. Okay, I'm going to add an interaction here. I want this one to go to the first feed. And I want this one here. Okay, to go also to the first feed. All right. Great. Now let's go ahead and test this. Now you want to make sure that you have the feed, the first one, as the starting point. And then we're going to bring up the desktop preview window. So click on that. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to drag. There you go. We're going to the second artboard. I'm going to drag. We we'll go to the third one. And then we're going to swipe basically to the right and we we'll go to the first one. We can also do the same the second photo here and this one here. So everything is complete and make sure that the user has complete control over the swiping options. Now, one more thing I would like to mention before I close this part is the option to simulate easing effects. And I'm referring to this option here, this easing options. Right now it's set to none. But if I click on this drop down menu, you can see all these options easy out, easy in, and so on. But because I've set my trigger to drag, I'm pretty happy and I'm going to leave it as is. But feel free to experiment on your own Adobe XT project because easing can be very beneficial to the user experience. So the next step is to connect these photo thumbnails to another artboard so the user can see the photo album in more detail. Now, I have already gone ahead and create this artboard that we're going to connect these photo thumbnails. And as you can see, this artboard consists of a larger photo, a title, a place, a text description, as well as a location map. Okay, so let's go ahead and wire this up. And so I'm going to still be on prototype mode. I'm going to double click on the first image thumbnail. Now this image thumbnail has already an action. So I'm going to click on this plus icon here to create one more action. So for trigger, I'm going to use tap. Again, we're still on the auto animate and destination. Let's go ahead and do this interactively. I'm going to click and drag this to this artboard right here, and I can double check my work. The destination is correct. Okay, so how does the user go back? Well, it's quite easy. From here, the user is going to tap on this arrow to turn back to the very first artboard. So we're going to wire this up. So click on this blue circle here, click on that. Again, the trigger is tap, type is auto animate, and I'm going to go ahead and wire this up to the very first artboard, which is the feed. All right. So I want to make sure that I am on this artboard, the first one, as a starting point. And I'm going to test my work. I'm going to bring up the desktop preview. There we go. Again, let's see if this works very well. Let's go ahead and tap on the first photo thumbnail. And here we are in the more detailed artboard. And if we want to go back, we're going to tap on this arrow to return back to the very first 
artboard. Now, don't forget, we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to repeat this process for each of the thumbnail images in all artboards to ensure the user experience. So once we are inside the photo album destination, the album itself consists of a slideshow with those three indicators. So the user basically will tap to go to the next photo and then tap again to go to the photo after that. And we are going to do this inside Adobe XD using component states. So we need to jump back to the design mode and we're going to target basically the photo and those three indicators. Here they are, indicator one, two, three, and the photo. So I'm going to shift select those and I'm going to create a component state and the shortcut is Control K or Command K. I'm going to rename this instead of component 48 to, let's say, component slideshow. Hit enter return. And immediately we have the default state. Now we need to have three states altogether because we all together we have three photos. So I'm going to click on this plus icon to add a new state. So click on the new state. I'm going to rename this to second slide. Hit enter return. Now in the second slide, right, let's go ahead and dig in because I need to change first of all the photo. So I'm going to target the photo here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to replace the image to the second. There we go. I also need to change the indicator. So I'm going to target this second indicator. I'm going to use the color picker to sample this color. I'm going to target the first indicator to sample this color. Let's do this again. There we go. All right. Okay. So now we need to create another state, one more. So I'm going to click on the add state icon here, new state. I'm going to rename this to third slide, hit enter return. Again, we need to drill into the photo. We're going to replace the photo. I'm going to right click to replace image. That would be the third image. There you go. And I'm going to target the third indicator. Let's go ahead and sample this color. Target the second indicator and color sample this one. There you go. All right. So let's go back to the very first, the default state. Now we are ready to wire this up. So I'm going to jump to the prototype mode here. And I'm going to do this, the user taps on the photo itself. So I'm going to target the photo and I'm going to wire this up again. So click once, trigger will be tap because the user will tap to go to the next photo. Type or animate and destination will be the second slide or the second state, the second component state. Okay, great. Click on the component slideshow. Now we're going to target the second slide, the second state. Again, I'm going to drill inside the component slideshow here and I'm going to target the photo. I'm going to click on that to actually wire this up, trigger tap or animate and we're going to go to the third slide. All right. Then I'm going to target the third slide, the third component stay here. Click on the photo, wire this up to the very first state, the default state. All right. Now we need to test this. So I'm going to go back to the default state. You want to make sure that you're on this state, of course. And let's go ahead and click on the desktop preview. And let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to tap once. We we'll go to the next slideshow, to the next slide. The indicator changes to the second one. Tap again to go to the third slide. Again, the indicator changes that shows that we're on this slide. Tap again, tap again, and this thing loops over and over again. So for the last part of this Adobe XD tutorial, the plan is for the user to tap on this settings icon. Then this menu will slide in, pushing this whole feed artboard slightly to the right. 
and then the user will close that menu by tapping on this X icon, which is like the close icon, okay? So let's see how we can do this. I'm just going to zoom out a bit and bring this out of the way. So basically what I need to do is we need to make a duplicate of this feed artboard. So I'm gonna hold on the Alt Shift or Option Shift. Here we go. I'm going to double click and I'm gonna rename this to Menu. There we go. And then I'm going to marquee select everything. And I want to move everything slightly to the right. Now, if you notice here, some of my layers are locked. So first of all, you need to unlock all of these layers in case that you have those locked. And then I'm going to group everything. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control G or Command G. I'm going to double click to rename these two contents. All right. And I'm just going to click and drag this to the right. There we go. Then I'm going to click on this side menu. I'm going to bring this in like so. Now this seems to be too far to the right. So I'm just going to click on these contents and breathing. And what you can do here is actually you can use your arrow keys. In this case, I'm going to use the left arrow key on my keyboard. I'm going to tap on that to bring this closer pixel by pixel. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and wire this up. I'm going to go to the prototype mode here. So I'm going to click on this settings icon. I'm going to click on this blue circle here. I'm going to wire this up. So the trigger will be on tap. Auto animate. I'm going to choose the artboard, which is the menu. And then for easing, I'm going to go for easy out. And I'm going to go for 0 0.6 seconds. There we go. All right. So that's one thing. Then the user needs to close, right, the menu here. So I'm going to double click to I'll get to the close button. There you go. So I'm going to wire this up again and I'm going to tap, trigger tap, auto animate. We're going to choose the feed artboards and then again I'm going to use the same easing which is ease out and 0 0.6 seconds and let's go ahead and test that so I'm going to bring up the desktop preview here I'm going to click on this settings icon and things are working fine the problem is we don't see the animation sliding in and that's because we actually need to take this and move it right next to the feed artboard. So first of all, let's go to the design mode here. I'm gonna click on that. Just make sure that I'm on the side menu. Right click to copy, all right. Click on the feed and then go ahead and paste that. Control V or Command V to paste. Then I'm gonna bring this out. There you go. And just make sure that when you do that, you're still inside the feed artboard and not outside the pasteboard. Because if this is outside the pasteboard, it is not going to work, which means you made a small mistake. All right. So let's go ahead and test that with the desktop preview. Click on this one. There you go. Here's the motion. See? And that works pretty well. There you go. Thank you for spending time with me. Let me know if you have any questions below the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the knowledge.